For today's video, we're gonna melt some generic rounds and make some two ounce or close to two ounce RFT bars. I'll be using my crucible that I have reserved only for silver. There's actually a little bit of silver still stuck on there, but nothing significant. I've got 23 one ounce rounds. And uh, the goal today is to pour at least 10 to maybe 11 bars right around 2, 2.1, 1.9 if we're light, but somewhere between 1.9 and 2.1 troy ounces a piece. So let me go ahead and get this fired up in the Devil Forge and we'll get to pouring.
So here we have 10 little bars. Obviously we got a little bit of schmutz on them. You know, having a newer crucible and a newer mold, some of these probably got some of the pieces of that stuck to them, but nothing a tumbler won't take care of. Typically I like to stamp before I tumble, but I want a clean surface. It'll make stamping slightly harder, but I think I'm gonna tumble these for a little bit and then I'll stamp them and we'll bring you guys back in for a closer look at these as far as the finished product's concerned. So I've got eight of them tumbling. These are my rejects. After looking at it, this one has a pretty deep hole in it. And I don't really want to have this as one of my bars. And then this one has kind of a notch on top and not a very smooth back surface for stamping. So I think I'll remelt these two on a future date. This one's 2.5 troy ounces and this one's 2.2. So probably can get a couple of 2.4s out of this, 2.35s, which will be fine. But uh, we'll save it for a future melt. And we'll be back as soon as the other one's finished tumbling before we stamp them. So we just took them out of the polisher. They've been in there about an hour. Came out pretty good. Again, not crystal clean on the finish. And some of them have some higher points, which will make stamping a little more difficult. But at the end of the day, they don't look too bad and I think they'll stamp pretty decent. Hopefully, we don't have any issues. Now that we've got them set up right here like this, time to get to stamping, and we'll take a look when they're done. Well, there you have it, everyone. That's the uh, final eight bars. We've got 31, 33, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. I'd already poured 32 and 34 for a custom job for somebody else, which is why those numbers can't be used this time around. Here's 2.1, Troy ounces, 39's fine silver. This is bar number 40. And a couple of these, let me show you one of these, where the high and low points were, we couldn't quite get, that one's not bad. We couldn't quite get the full stamp. You can see that F on RFT is not perfect. It's a little bit of a low spot right there, a dimple if you will. Nothing I can do about that. I ran the risk of over stamping other parts trying to get in there, but that's what makes them custom pours. Obviously they're not the most perfect pours in the world and we had to make do with spots that had highs and low points on the back as well. But either way, I'm pretty happy overall. Matter of fact, I was considering remelting this one I got another DDO, if you will. I can't believe I did that. And uh, it's the only one of the lot that I did that to. But yeah, another DDO. Unbelievable. It happens. Man, it's been a while since I stamped. But like I said, they didn't come out too bad. If you enjoyed this silver melting video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting, happy stacking, happy pouring. And thanks for watching.